就是喜欢一种很有、很传统的那种，就是很中国的那种一种模式。下次还是想做这个模式。Guys, good afternoon, everyone. It's your old friend Moses. Washing the mandala from your bay, you see. And then guess where I am today? Today, I am in Jiangxi Province, Shangrao City, Wuyuan County. And you know what? Wuyuan is known as the most beautiful countryside in China. And then today, I am in a place called Hou Tang. This place is so amazing. I mean, it's cool, it's serene, and I'm. And I just like it, you know. It's kind of feels so natural. I like the whole wooden structure and um, the entire design of the room. I mean, it's. How do you feel? I'm afraid. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so now I'm about to have this excellent. Which I heard is going to be used for the dinner tonight. Just to wear some of the Chinese clothes, is it? 成功了 ！I just finished making this dumpling, which is called the Wu Yuan Tofu Baozi, and this woman she just helped me to make it. And upon three attempts, I'm finally able to make it. So I'm trying for the third time. Okay. And currently, I have come to an ancient hidden village over here, known as Sushi Entwen. So follow me to reveal the unique charm of Wu Yuan Homestay. Hi guys. 我现在来到了七叶岩上。刚刚我们想问一下，就是您觉得这个发展这个民宿产业啊，对这个婺源当地的这个经济有什么样的一个带动作用？第一个就是保护了当地的老房子，还有那个开发了闲置的房产。嗯。第二个呢，就是能够带动当地的增加一些就业机会。第三个，我们客观上需要采购物品。我们希望就是挖掘我们当地这个文化文化的底蕴。嗯，来这里不光是看这个自然风光，还可以看我们当地的这个风土人情、这个文化文化遗存建筑